Okay, Hunter, here's I'm going to show you what can be done in Web ODM instead of other post processing. I processed your images for Northern Michigan University, your 67 images under high. Took an hour and 47 minutes. In the dashboard, I can view a map of Northern Michigan University. And I'm going to change the background here to just be a map link. So, um, and here I can see, I can show you where the images were taken. And if you, if you click on one, it'll zoom in and you can zoom in on the actual, that actual photo. So that's kind of cool. Turn that back off. So here's your ortho mosaic, typical ortho that you can save out as. This is winter time, so there's not a lot of green grass, but from a plant health perspective, um, using the right algorithm, which you have an RGB, so you'll have to use something that has both RGB in the index, and you can get a representation of how good the plant health is. This isn't accurate because we got white, but you get the idea. You can do plant health. Uh, from a surface model perspective, um, again, you can, this, is, this would show like the treetops and heights and such. You can adjust the algorithm to extenuate certain elevations. So this is, if you were to drape over the area, you can see it's pretty resolute. You can get to some pretty sharp imagery here of cars and such. So that's the digital surface model. You can also, you can go to a digital terrain model, which then just tries to show the ground cover if there were no trees, what the actual floor of the Earth's crust would be. It tries to interpret that. So you can see there's that little depression here in the snow. So there's what you can do from a 2D perspective, going over to three dimensions in Web ODM. To bring up the point cloud and for yucks I'm going to increase its budget just a little bit as I can and you can see the differential some of the trees uh, heights of the trees this is a this is photometry lidar LAS um, and if I were to wait here it would fill in some of these gaps see from a point cloud that's the model each point so there's roughly three million points in this image right now and I can bump this up but it would slow the computer down um, you can also overlay the ortho mosaic onto this image to kind of fill in the scene a little bit so you can see there's your building There's doors, there's aspects of it, where in, without the texture, you just get the individual points and there's not a lot of coverage beneath. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. Um, another thing, so let's go back to, there's this, there's that depression. We can do a height profile Let's say from this road over to this road. And then we can go to scene profile. So we can show the two dimensional profile. And there you can see this cursor kind of coming across, showing the actual profile of the ground, the elevation for each point and then goes back the other way to another point. So you can see, we can see a cross section of this area and that depression is down in here. So that's another way you can do with um,
the topology. And that's, well, let me get back to up here, cross that out, there we go. There's our three-dimensional model that we can twirl around. Back to the 2D view. mosaic on campus. Back to the dashboard. And how you save it in ODM, you can just basically download assets. This is what it'll provide you, your geo tip. There's also a PNG static image, your terrain model, your surface model, your point cloud, it's LAS. It does a compression of that as well. And there's a quality report in your camera shots. Just download all assets. So. And that's Web ODM, something that we're I'm trying to get for every of our each one of our pilots in Eagle to be able to use since it's free and open source and very powerful.